Hey Blossom D fans, welcome back to another video. Excuse my face, I'm having a serious breakout right now. But I just wanted to bring you a quick video on my makeup tutorial and how I, how I put on makeup. Right here I'm applying my eyebrows to just draw them out with a liquid um, or a pencil brush, brush them out, then I clean them up with um, some concealer and it's typically a little lighter than my skin tone so I can highlight it a little bit. So um, in this application, I'm going to apply my eyes first after, or second I should say, after my eyebrows. Blend that out real good. Look at my eyebrows need to be done too, y'all, but look at that. Awesome. Going to put some more concealer on my eyelids so I can go on and start applying eyeshadow. Um, Maybe I'll do that in another video, show you guys like an everyday look because I do not put this much makeup on day by day as you guys know for the ones who follow me on social media. Um, so I'm just doing a nice um, burnt orange base color. I know my lighting isn't the best, so I'm trying to figure that out. And then I use uh, like a burgundy red color to overlay that with. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of shimmer on the inside, um, add a little pop, you know what I'm saying, and add it on my brow tails as well. Um, then I added a little wing. Once again, I usually do not wear wings on my top lid um, much, but it does add a nice little effect, especially for me because I do not wear false lashes. My eyelashes are very long, however, um, I'd rather just continue to apply mascara layers and layers uh, to bolt them up um, rather than lashes, and that's just a personal preference. Um, right now, all you see is me covering up all of my spots. Oh my gosh, you guys. When you get older, you think like your face would just clear up and like all your scarring and breakouts go away. No, <laughs> they're not. And um, one thing I found with getting older, your body changes like in all levels. All levels, it changes, guys. Women, it changes. Um, so don't think you're going to have that teeny bopper body like you did in your teens or your young adult life. Mm -mm. You got to work to keep that and your body just changes. So now I'm about to put foundation on on top of that so it can look like a smooth finish since I have so much scarring and breakouts going on right now. Um, this is how you know I'm getting bold because I'm showing y'all this. Like most women won't show all their scars and all of that, but yeah. I'm also putting on Fenty Beauty uh, foundation in the color, I believe, 420. Um, her foundation is awesome, actually. I use, I switch back between her and MAC. But to be honest, like I said, just doing all this every day is just a lot. And it's a light, her um, foundation is light, but it's just, that's just how I feel. I feel like all you need is mascara, eyebrows, lips, and some blush on a daily basis. Unless you're having like serious breakouts and you want to just put a light coat of foundation on, that's a whole nother story, but to each his own, its own. Um, so I'm blending, blending, blending. I found doing it with a brush helps blend it better for me because I don't have so much as the patience to be blending with the sponge and the sponge taking up all the product and it's just too much going on. So as you see, it's starting to like smooth out, looking like something. Um, and now I am going to go on to my mascara. Like I said, I like to just do layers as you will be able to see my eyelashes. Um, they are pretty long and to fill them up, I just kind of keep putting layers on <laughs> instead of just doing the false lashes. I already have glasses, so lashes. I've tried them out a couple times and they're very cute and you just wake up looking fabulous. But in my reality, I have allergies on top of that and I just be rubbing my eyes sometimes and I be forgetting these eyelashes on and it's just, they 
they be coming off and then you gotta watch how you wash your face and all of that or you just wasted like a hundred and something dollars or fifty dollars however much they cost and it's just too much it's a whole lot and um, like I said when you get older some of those things just don't mean the same no more they're just not a priority so um, I also do my bottom lashes in I do believe eyelashes with mas uh, mascara on your eyelashes does make your eyes pop a whole lot more and they don't look so boring, so to speak, unless you just have green and gray and hazel eyes. Everybody's not able unless you got contacts. So um, that's me putting my mascara on. Now I am contouring. Y'all, this is my second time contouring ever. <laughs> I've had these contour sticks since they came out. And I never contour, like, in real life. I don't even know if I did it right. But I guess it came out pretty good. And I like the fact that they weren't super harsh dark lines because my blending game with these sponges is not the best. So you probably will still see them. But, um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I just like to play in makeup. Um... <laughs> so I'm blending, 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 and it does like chisel your face a little bit. Look, I got mascara in my eyeball. Like, who does that? Um, blending, 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 and um, trying to get the rest out. Sorry, guys. Uh, and trying to make it look all smooth to cover up all of my imperfections. But you know what? I do embrace them and that's me doing a highlighter a little bit here and there I didn't know what I was doing really guys I was just putting stuff on my face trying to do what the girls on the video do <laughs> it's so funny and my nose rings always get in the way it's sad I was kind of thinking about getting a third one just doing too much right um so I'm blending that all out, and look who is peeping around the corner. My son. What is he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and now I put on a little bit of blush, blush, blush. Oh wait, that wasn't blush. Sorry, that's blush. That was like a finisher powder that I didn't really want to use, so that's why it was so fast. And you don't even see a difference. So then I was trying this lipstick out. Mm, it smells so good, so, so good. But it was not the color red I was looking for. It was more orangey. So I switched to my NARS red. It's so beautiful, it's a matte um, lipstick as well. And it's so bold and like, arr. Um, So started putting my makeup up because I'm pretty much finished. I did add a setting spray at the end and right here you see me just adding some more of that burgundy shadow underneath to give it a little bit more smoky look and now I'm gonna try to do something with my hair it's so time for a wash and a retwist but hey the struggle is real you gotta do what you gotta do to let your hair do what it needs to do so it can form into these mature dreads right so I am trying to put it up in a wrap and I'm distracted by my husband. I'm still trying to figure out these wraps too. And um, that didn't work out. So I was like, oh, let's put it all in hang towel. Look at that. I got some hang towel. I got I'm able to put it in hang towel, y'all. That was like so amazing. Okay. So I don't know what I'm trying to do. Just do something. And then have some little bangs because they get them longer. Hearing, I love hoops, guys. Hoops add like just so much flavor. So this is my finished look. And did a little bit of baby hairs because you know you got you gotta add those in. You know, your hand right without the little baby hairs. Um, and that is my finished look. I hope it's cute. I'm giving y'all a little photo here and there. I, uh, 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 so cute. Yeah. Anyways, see y'all next time.